Ooh, what did the mailman bring me? It's a set of Forstner bits from Taylor Toolworks. These are the FAMAG brand, F-A-M-A-G, Forstner bits from Germany. There's a link in the description if you want to see those on the Taylor Toolworks site. They come in a nice little wooden box. The box has FAMAG's motto, Fuhr Bessenbohrer. FAMAG says that means for a better drilling. It's an imperial size set. It has, you know, the basic sizes on it, quarter inch, three eighths, um, half inch, so on, all the way up to one inch. I'm going to put the three quarter inch Forstner bit to use drilling some dog holes. The hole you see there is not lined up with the um, vise. That hole was put in before the vise was put in. To keep the hole straight, I'm going to use this Rockler portable drill guide. First time using that tool. The drill guide has a chuck, so I'm going to put the Forstner bit in the chuck and then attach a portable drill to the drill guide. And, you know, it keeps the um, drill perpendicular uh, in both directions as you um, drill. It wanders around a little bit, but it keeps the hole really straight and nice. A couple times I felt the Forstner bit to see if it was getting warm, and it wasn't getting warm at all. It, it was staying quite cool as it drilled. That's one of the features FAMAG claims uh, the design of their Forstner bits. Uh, they're supposed to run a little bit cooler. And um, I was really impressed with the uh, Rockler drill guide. Um, very solid, very easy to keep the holes going um, straight in. Here's another view of the drill guide. And the, the FAMAG bit made a really nice clean hole and uh, I'm really satisfied with how it worked. Again, that bit was absolutely cool to the touch, uh, just wasn't getting, um, you know, barely warm at all. Certainly not hot. The three quarter inch holes I'm drilling will be used for bench dogs mostly, but also towards the ends of the bench um, I can use hold fast. So the bench is mostly an inch and a half thick, but towards the end there's some thicker parts and you can see here the holes didn't go quite through. It needs to be thicker for the hold fast to actually work. So I'm just going to use an old fashioned spade bit because you know I didn't have enough reach with the Forstner bits to do the last um, portion of those two holes at the end. But, you know, there was plenty of guidance from the Forstner bit that the spade bit just went right in and, you know, who cares if it's a little bit of a ragged spade bit hole, you know, at the bottom of the bench. I don't really care about that. The hole fast fits just fine. The dog holes work just fine, just what they're supposed to do, obviously. Um, so the, the vise just, you know, grips a nice board on there, makes it easy to plane. Um, so I'm quite satisfied with both of these. I, my Forster bits were terrible and dull, and these are nice and new and sharp and work really well. So I'm really happy with the Forstner bits, um, and the Rockler drill guide made it easy to drill the holes quite straight. My shop sometimes gets used by other people here at the ranch, so for really nice drill bits, I kind of hide them in a little hole here, so the Forstner bits are going in my hidey hole. Um, thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Um, see you in future episodes. Bye.